Well, here we are at part three of our three-part arc of uh, prayer books of the Ukraine and Romania here in America that features some differing forms of the prayers that most of us are uh, familiar with. And so without further ado, I give you uh, this Romanian English prayer book from the metropolis of America under Bucharest. <laughs> Welcome back to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program on the internet today. I'm your host, the guy with one and a half thumbs. And today we have this lovely uh, prayer book from the Romanian Orthodox Metropolis of America under Bucharest, not the OCA. Uh, this was sent to me by my friend Mark, friend of the show, sent it to me back in... Doo -doo 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 -doo. The letter is dated December 27th. 2021. So I've been sitting on this one for a while, um, and I'm glad I did because now it it fits nicely into this little grouping of prayer books that we've been doing uh, recently. And for those that are counting, this is probably episode 130, give or take. Uh, so yeah, we've been, we've been trekking right along. Anyway, so uh, initially he stated in the letter that he couldn't find them online and that he had to purchase it from his church bookstore, which I thought was kind of a bummer. But I did some digging, and I did find that you can purchase these through the, uh, the Metropolis. Outside of that, uh, 155 pages. Uh, there were only 3,000 copies of this print edition produced. It doesn't say whether it's a first edition, second edition, anything like that, uh, because it's a small book run by a small patriarchate. So um, we're, we shouldn't really expect there to be a whole lot of uh, excessive detail in publication. That being said, let's get into it. Um, it's, it's a fairly large book, as you can see, uh, though it is uh, not excessively thick. The binding is glued and sewn. Maybe the camera will focus, maybe it won't. Oh, let's go ahead. So... As you can see, solid binding. Uh, you will notice the uh, ribbon marker here is the colors of the Serbian flag. So that's that's the thing. Now onto the meat and potatoes. So much like the uh, first prayer book in this uh, three uh, three episode arc, that being the um, the prayer book from a uh, Holy Protection Monastery. Uh, this has a very similar form to the prayers in that they're um, apparently the the Romanian tradition just is a little different from the rest of the Slavic region, and we will go through all. Uh, so when we go through the morning prayers, we will once again see that once again, when we have the prayers upon waking, the Traparian. Uh, it follows the same format as the other book, uh, through the prayers of the saints, prayers of the Theotokos, through the prayers of the angels, uh, instead of just to the Theotokos. On page six, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention too, this is this is me dropping the ball hard, everyone. Uh, the opposing page is much like the third edition of the Old Rite prayer book, uh, share the same page number. So this is page four. This is page five, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, here we see the creed in its normal place. Now we have an extra, a few extra prayers for the hours in uh, in the morning prayers. Christ, the true light, who enlightens and sanctifies every person coming into the world. Let, let the light of your countenance shine upon us, that we may see your unapproachable light and guide our steps in the way of your commandments through the intercessions of your all holy mother and of all the saints. Amen. You'll probably recognize that from the divine liturgy, and then you actually have the prayer of the hours, which is it's nice. And then the morning prayers continue on as usual. Now let's jump to page 11 real quick. Worth noting, the ninth prayer of the Holy Guardian Angel once again is different from the regular Slavic usage, so that's a thing. On page 23, a prayer for reconciliation. Uh, another uncommon prayer, hashtag uncommon prayer. Uh, 
us. Subdue our evil hearts, O birth giver of God. Quench the grief that comes from those who hate us, and free us from all the tribulation of our soul. For gazing upon your holy icon, we humble ourselves before your fellow suffering and your pity for us. And kissing your wounds, we tremble at the way our arrows have injured you. O most merciful mother, do not let us perish in our hardness of heart, for you are truly the tamer of unruly hearts. Amen. Now this, for those of you that uh, are not familiar with the icon, uh, is a prayer that is usually said before the icon of the Mother of God, a softener of hearts. It's an icon which I will probably put up on the screen somewhere uh, where she's got some arrows pointing at her heart. And it's a yeah, softener of evil hearts. It's a great icon. Anyway. Uh, do, do, do. On page 25, we once again have the prayer for uh, your name's day or birthday. Page 29, I love this one. Prayer when lighting an oil lamp or candle. Most Holy Trinity, receive my love for you, and in the fire of your divinity, burn up mine iniquities and blot out the multitude of my sins, and bury them and forget them, O Lord. Amen. Pretty rad, pretty rad. Most holy birth giver of God, make the light of my offering to be well received and bring it before your son and our God for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. So yeah, pretty neat. Uh, I've not seen those prayers before. So that makes it a first for this one. Now on to evening prayers, starting on page 36, we're gonna see prayer to the guardian angel here is the one that you usually find in morning prayers. So that's a thing. Page 38, we once again see the old rite style of uh, this litany following the prayer of St. John of Damascus with the bows, the prostrations. Now, here's where we get some cool stuff. Let's go to page 47. Prayers at church, okay? So we have the one for entering the church. And once again, we have uh, some very important prayers, the prayers before the icon of Christ and before the holy icon of the Theotokos. And uh, those you usually only find in Little Red, and uh, they are part of the uh, entrance prayers of the clergy. Now we have a prayer before the Holy Liturgy, and a prayer after the Holy Liturgy. I have not seen these before, and they are wonderful prayers. Uh, that also serves as a separation from the uh, daily prayers of a person to uh, more uh, serious stuff. So we have a whole section here on the Jesus Prayer, which is uh, pretty cool, Name Checks Way of the Pilgrim, and on the Prayer of Jesus by uh, St. Paisios Vilichopovsky, St. Demas of the Holy Mountain. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the section of usual stuffs, akathists and whatnot, but their choice of akathists, a little different. So akathists to Lord Jesus Christ, and then let's go to page 72, the akathist for the Annunciation, oddly enough, which... I mean, it's cool. Everyone should have some akathists on hand and pray them. I know I should. But I thought that was uh, an interesting choice, but not an unwelcome one. Then we're going to go far ahead to page 108. Again, guidelines for confession. And not unlike uh, what we've seen before. Some pretty good instruction here. A good confession doesn't mean giving a thousand details of each facet of the sin or obsessing about all kinds of fine distinctions. But true repentance about them apples. And then you have the usual catechetical things. Prayer for one's spiritual father. Good stuff. We should be praying for that person. And then prayers before and after holy confession. The one before is a longer form that I've seen in the Great Book of Needs. Uh, it's also available in the Small Book of Needs, but it's not something you usually find in a prayer book. So not quite hashtag uncommon prayers, but lesser than common. Prayer after Holy Confession is once again a longer form. And then from here on out, it is the usual. Preparation for Holy Communion, prayers before Holy Communion, prayers after Holy Communion. And the normal stuff takes up about the back sixth of the book. So from page 119 all the way to 166, that was on? 155 is uh, pretty atypical. And a uh, note on the translation. It's uh, pretty solid. It's familiar in the way it's worded. 
O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fill all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good and well. So yeah, nothing, nothing crazy in there. Uh, the Psalm translations, again, unique to the book. And very, very similar to the RSV, um, but a lot less clunky. I don't like the RSV Psalms. Uh, I'm going to tell you that right now. But anyway, so there it is. Um, I think he said this is, how much was it, like $30? I can't remember what it said on the on the, uh, on the the PDF. But And by the way, uh, my apologies. I'm still trying to reposition things here, so like I'm sometimes knocking things and they're shaking or making noises. So my apologies there. But anyway, uh, thanks, Mark, for the book. Appreciate it. It's uh, going to be a well-treasured little treasure <laughs> in my library. So at any rate, that's it. We're done with this arc. Uh, next up is a Serbian prayer book. So stay tuned for that. There is one Serbian prayer book in English. And, uh, at any rate, on behalf of Spooky Cat, her mom, and myself, please continue to pray for us. We're praying for you. And don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember.